Hey, what up? This is Axie Marcus. Today, we're going to be talking about Funcura. It is spelled with two N's. Now, Funcura is a tool that helps you to create unique looking interesting designs for your QR codes right and before I dive into fun QR be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content here we go so here we are in fun QR you can see one of the QR codes that I've created here so far okay so you know you can design whatever you want right so the first one will be choosing what kind of uh, QR code is it right so are you going to be linking it to a url or a text or email or call or whatsapp facetime uh wi-fi code uh you know crypto whatever it is okay so i'm just going to pick the most standard one which is the qr code okay uh sorry the url and then you can just type in the url you want to create click on next Right over here, you can choose a few different designs. So you can have a solid color, a gradient design. Okay, you can change the color if you want to. Right. Right, so gradient design or solid color. Okay, or you can upload a image. So if maybe you have a uh, like a square looking image. So this one is a square. I'm just uploading it to see how how it is. Okay, right. So you get something like this. Okay, uh, you know, sort of in the it, it, it sort of gets uh, you know turned into QR code. Okay, right. Okay, so you can choose what kind of design you want. Okay, so I'm just probably going to choose solid color for now. Right, just a simple one. Okay, you can change the uh, the fill would be you know what color most of the stuff is right here. Okay, right, and then the eye external is this one right here, and then the eye internal is this one. Okay, and then you can choose whether you want to have a background or not. So if you turn it off, it just kind of turns into a white background. And you can choose what kind of uh, module you want. So this one would be like this, uh, you know, squarish looking one. You can have it as dots or triangles or stars, right? And so on. You can have all these unique designs. You can have something like a Morse code looking thing. Okay. And you can change the finder as well okay right so they do notify you right if it's too complex it may not be able to be scanned right so just in case if you are picking some unique designs just make sure that it still works okay so you can change the finer dots as well so it's by default in square you can choose like a rounded square if you want to uh, you can have it as a sun looking design you can have a dot you can have like a leaf looking one you can have a octagon design right it's up to you what you want to pick and then you can choose the shape so you can choose this square you can choose a circle okay you can choose cloud looking one okay you can have a t-shirt whatever it is okay and then you can also uh, choose a design, uh, like a logo. So you can, let's say if it's a link to your Facebook page, you can put that in, or you can, uh, you know, upload your own logo in there as well. So uh, let's say we would choose my logo right here, which is this one. Right, if I upload this, then it's going to appear in the center of the QR code as well. Okay, and then, uh, you know, you can change the size and so on, right? You can change the background shape to square or circle. Okay, 
you can change the logo size, you can make it smaller, you can reduce the background size, whatever it is to, you know, uh, you can change, you can, I think this sort of rotates the logo as well. Oh, no, it moves the logo. So this is in the center, you can move it around, you can rotate it as well. So let's rotate it. Okay. <coughs> And then you can choose a sticker. So without anything, it looks like this. You can also put a sticker like this, or a sort of like a voucher in here. You can put a couple of lines in there. Okay, and then once you're done, you can just click on next, and it's going to create the QR code for you. And you can download it as a SVG or PNG file, right? So, uh, you know. So once you scan, it will work as it is. Okay, and pretty much that's all for Funkura. Okay, right. So I think if you have a unique uh, campaign that I mean, if you want your QR code to stand out, you want people to, you know, if you are printing it on a flyer uh, or an offline event or a uh, maybe on your name card itself, you want it to look unique, then I think Funkura code, uh, sorry, Funkura itself is going to come in handy for you. Uh, but, you know, uh, so I guess that's all I have to share about Funkura. You know, it's uh, ultimately it's a simple tool, but it gives a little bit more control in terms of the design for your QR codes right so if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about it in the comments below lastly if you know anyone who could benefit from fun QR be sure to share this video with them I will see you in my next video bye bye